everybody, it's me, Alexa, and today we're taking a look at the live performance of the song Bon Bast uh, by Sirvan Khosravi. So this song is from Iran, um, and I'm very excited. This will be my fourth reaction to a song from Iran, uh, so slowly watching more and more. Um, it does have English subtitles, which is always exciting. <laughs> really quick before we jump in, though, I want to let you all know about our two gaming channels. So we got two gaming channels, Alexa Plays and Sri Kandula. Alexa Plays, where I post my gaming videos, and Sri Kandula is where Sri posts his. He's also going to have some other videos on there coming up in the future. Um, but for now, there's a whole bunch of gameplays on both of those channels. So if you like games, make sure to head on over and check those out. Links to them in the description of all of our videos. So now, without further ado, let's jump right on into it. Like the beat of it. Like on top of a skyscraper. Cool. I love the lights of the city in the background. Very like sad song in the lyrics. Love this with the city in the background, it's gorgeous. Emotion is voice there. I love their stage setup on the roof has all the background.
Very cool. Very, very cool. Are we gonna let those credits roll? Cause that's what we do here. But that was a really cool performance. I absolutely loved their location they were at. So in the city of Tehran, they had that beautiful uh, top of it. it looked like a really tall skyscraper. Um, and I love the lighting setup that they had there and as well as just having that cityscape in the background at night with all the little lights. I mean, cities at night are just beautiful to look at. And the way they utilized it in the background, I think was really effective with the song. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. The song itself, I really liked the beat of it. And I liked his voice a lot. This is just from this year, 2020. So pretty cool. I think it's quite fitting for the year. Um, I feel like that's something a lot of people felt uh, was a song. It's definitely one that you could relate to a lot in the like being stuck in quarantine, like you're trying to pursue something and you just can't, there's something standing in your way. Um, and you're about to, you know, there's like a whole bunch of those sorts of feelings I feel like going on during quarantine. At least I definitely had a lot of those sorts of feelings. So it was cool. It definitely was a really good song for 2020. I agree to that. His voice, especially in those like final couple uh, choruses, the way that he added that emotion to it, you could just feel that like, like roughness kind of added to it. It was really cool. And I think that it elevated the emotion of the song really well. Because the, the music itself, I think, was a little basic. Not in a bad way. It still suited the song really well and it was very enjoyable um but like it was very simple just like complimentary to the song it's not like the most um original background music that we've ever heard but it was extremely well done and therefore still very enjoyable i mean there's a reason that that style of background music is utilized all the time because it's very effective i feel especially in this style of song where you have um kind of more darker lyrics where you're talking about sadder things um pairing that with the um like background music which isn't quite like sad it's like kind of upbeat but it's like middle ground almost it's it's like hard to word the exact emotion paired with the background music exactly um and i feel like the emotion to it is kind of assigned by the singer in the lyrics which then gives this one that more um kind of somber feel to it while also still having a really good like move your head with it beat it helps keep the song so it doesn't have to be slow paced but it still has that somber effect that is often achieved with slower paced music i also think the camera work was really well done uh with they they had a very limited space on top of it but then they had this huge space outside of where they were and i think that the use of switching between the different camera angles that they had um was really effective to help keep the visuals dynamic and interesting to watch i mean there was never a time where i felt like it was boring to look at they had all the different lights going on they had the changes in camera angles and the cool shots and the beautiful city in the background i mean they had a lot of it was very simple but it was also still a lot going on to keep you very engaged in it the movement of it all both with the cameras and the music itself i think worked really well together to help create just a really beautiful live performance of a very emotional song that was very fitting for 2020. <laughs> all right, there, I think that that's all I have to say about this Bombast live performance. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe and check out our other two gameplay videos if you're interested in gaming. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope y'all are staying safe out there and having an absolutely amazing day. Bye.